Greetings all. I recently posted an ambient guitar meditation in which I combined the Strymon Sunset and Strymon Riverside Overdrives. It's a really cool combination and what I'd like to do on today's video is walk through the effects chain um, uh, for this particular ambient guitar meditation so that you can see how I got the sound. So let's get to work. First up is the guitar. As usual, I, I'm a baritone addict, so I'm using my Fender Blacktop Telecaster baritone, and it's tuned in baritone standard E, uh, B, E, A, D, F sharp, and B. I do have some capos going here, so I raise the entire guitar up two frets worth, so a whole tone to essentially C sharp, um, using this capo on the second fret. I've got a second partial capo on the sixth fret, which allows me to get some really nice B flat minor inversions. Okay, kind of nice. If you're not familiar with capos and how to use them, I've got an episode all about that. Check it out. All right, let's get into the effects. First effect is the ever present Wampler Ego, and it is on right now. And if I turn it off, you can hear that my tone disappears. I'm using the Wampler to raise the volume, uh, essentially raise the gain into the front end of my Avid 11 rack amp modeler. And I'm also getting some additional sustain out of the notes, all right? And also, also by the way, I've got the Telecaster set to the neck pickup. So that's what you're hearing. All right, let's move on. Next up is the sunset, but I'm going to skip it for just a sec so we can check out the riverside. Let me go ahead and hit the riverside, turn it on. And what I've got going here is a very low gain patch um, with the mids boosted. There's a mid emphasis switch, so I've got that turned on, and here's what it sounds like. Okay, it is very subtle. Um, you're not, you, there's not a lot of hair or crunch on the tone here. But one thing that is nice about the Riverside is that I can use the Sunset to, again, push the gain a little bit into the Riverside, like you might do a real amp, and it will increase the distortion, the crunch level, a little bit on the Riverside. All right, so let's get to the Sunset and see what's going on there. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and leave the Riverside on. So first up, Sunset Drive Channel A is set to the Texas Overdrive. So here's what it sounds like. Okay, pretty nice. You can tell I've got the gain pretty low. I've got the tone control about in the middle, just a little bit more, and I'm using the volume just to kind of level out the sound. All right, that's drive channel A. Drive channel B is set to the two-stage drive. Check this out. Okay, it's a little dirtier than the Texas. It's also a little bit more compressed, and that's because of the two stages. I think it's because of the two stages of the drive. And uh, if you're looking at the knobs there, you can see I've got the drive level very low, probably 10, 20% at the most. Again, the tone control's about in the middle and I'm trying to level out the volume. Now, if I turn them both on, um, listen to this. Isn't that nice? It's really cool. So what's happening here is the drives are running in parallel. Um, they're not feeding one into the other. The signals are just combined together, kind of side by side. And it's, it's, I think it's really cool. There's still definition in the tone, but it's pretty gritty. And it keeps the sparkle um, on the uh, top end of that Telecaster uh, neck pickup. So really nice. All right, so that's the basic overdrive sound. Let's move on to delay. And I've got the Strymon Dig set up. 
and it's using the 2496 delay type. And I've got about a one second delay time on delay number delay line number one. Delay line number two is just following along at a dotted quarter after it. So let's check that out. That's really nice. I like that a lot. And uh, finally, we're feeding all of that into the New Neighbor Immerse, but I'm not using it as a constant reverb. I'm going to use it to provide a drone. The way I'm going to do that, and I've got another link here to a whole episode dedicated to that, I've, I'm using the hall setting, and I've got the decay time of that hall setting turned all the way up. And you'll see that I just turn the, the reverb on and off to capture some of the signal and then get a nice drone going. So check this out. All right, so Again, I've done the episode on that. Check it out. Sorry to repeat myself, but it's really cool. And now I can play over top of it. That's how I got the sound. All right, let's be honest. Let's be real. The riverside and the sunset, they ain't cheap. It's, it's a lot of dough for two overdrive pedals. But you know what? The tones you can get with those two together are pretty incredible. So if you do have the budget and you do like Strymon style pedals, it's definitely worth checking out. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to my channel. I've got ambient guitar-related content coming every week. Also, if you're already a subscriber, hit the bell notification so you don't miss anything. And finally, if you haven't already done so, please check out my music, Chords of Orion. I've got links all around here. You can find me on Spotify, Apple Music, iTunes, Google Play, you name it, my music is there. And as always, I'll see all of you on the next video.